uh, Gerard. Good so afternoon. So you have some new That's stuff for us. Can you explain uh, what you have for us? Yes, I can. So the first, first is the new plastic device that's uh, shipping already. So a new and improved format. The size, it's flatter and slightly wider than the, than the original metal design that you have here. But we improved the sliding mechanism. It now can slide with one hand instead of two. It locks, it locks into place and you don't have any issues with the strength of that. And it gives us some more real estate here and on the back for the new etching system for all the part numbers, serial numbers, and um, all of the devices now are shipping with serial number. Very nice. Matched on the inside, outside, and the box itself. So and then you got stored in your I have pocket. some other few things in my pocket, some more surprises. Uh, we're going to be replacing the metal with exactly the same design as this, but in a metal case. So same functionality, new and improved, locks into place, use it with one hand and you'll see that it slides very nicely. This is a prototype, so this will be releasing in, um, in April, officially, and we'll phase out eventually the, uh, the original metal design. It's still available because a lot of customers are on that platform and they want to stay there for, for a period of time, so we're not discontinuing it completely. And the FIPS validated product will stay in the metal case okay. for probably at least the next six months. Okay. Right. Another addition to the line coming in March is the Stealth Mini. Stealth Mini is secure portable storage with the ability to manage it with Access Enterprise, but okay. none of the PKI functionality. Okay. So what we've done there is we've taken a device that sits underneath the passport in terms of functionality in order to give the customer base uh, several levels of, of devices. Not every user will be able to use or will want to use uh, the all the full functionality, PKI functionality of the Stealth MXP device. And what storage formats are you going to produce? For, uh, the, the, the release is going to be one and two gigabyte storage formats. Okay. Um, for four gigabyte, we're not releasing it in this format yet because the step to go to Passport is very cost effective. Okay. And are you expecting to launch an 8 gig uh, MXP? Yes, the 8 gig MXP is expecting to launch in the next two months. Okay. Um, and uh, the other thing that's expecting to launch in the, in the next few months is 16 gigabyte will follow very, very closely after okay. that. Yes. Okay. 16 gigabyte is, is, uh, is obviously um, very, very new. Um, but it looks like we're going to be able to launch it hopefully at the same time as the 8 gigabyte. Okay, yeah. that should be great. Good. Uh, thanks, Derek. Thank you.